This lake behind me is a man-made lake. It's the site of a, a closed iron mine in uh, central Ontario. And there's a very interesting proposal in place to use this site to store energy, particularly renewable energy. Many countries are starting to use renewable energy to supplement and replace energy production from traditional sources. Windmills and solar panels are popping up everywhere. There are issues though with all types of energy production, including renewable energy. One criticism of solar and wind systems is that they are inconsistent. When the wind stops, so does wind energy production. And a few clouds can take a huge solar array offline. Conversely, high winds and intense sun can contribute to an overproduction situation. This leaves the engineers who run our electrical grid scrambling to match supply and demand. If supply and demand get out of balance, a quick response is difficult. Nuclear plants, for instance, require a significant amount of time to increase or decrease their output. Hydro dams can respond quickly, but they must have the extra capacity to do that. The cost of electricity also shifts with supply and demand, changing significantly through the day. An ideal solution to this problem would be to store energy during periods of overproduction and low prices and bring it online when the demand increases. This is where the abandoned iron mine comes in. This iron mine is close to the town of Marmara, Ontario. Excavation of the open pit started in the 1950s and the mine was closed in the 70s. After the mine was closed, the pit filled with water, creating a lake. The lake is 200 meters deep, almost 700 feet. This deep lake holds the key to energy storage. The project requires the creation of a very large shallow depression adjacent to the pit. This feature is designed to hold water, creating an upper reservoir. The next step involves engineering a connection, a large pipe or series of pipes between the bottom of the pit and the upper reservoir. This connection includes a pumping station. Powered by electricity, the pump moves water from the pit into the upper reservoir. The water level in the upper reservoir is now a significant distance above the water level in the pit. This difference in height represents stored energy. Physicists call this energy gravitational potential energy. To convert this stored energy to electricity, water is allowed to flow back into the pit. The electric pump now becomes a generator, creating electricity as the falling water forces it to turn. This electricity flows onto the power grid. The strategy is to use electricity at times of low demand and low cost to pump water up into the upper reservoir. holding it there until demand and prices rise. Releasing water back through the generators will produce electricity, feeding energy onto Ontario's power grid and generating revenue for the operation of the facility. The quick response capabilities of pump storage systems means they can play an important role in managing supply fluctuations, quickly generating or storing energy. It is estimated that a pump storage facility like the one proposed at Marmara would deliver 700 gigawatt hours of electrical energy annually. This is enough to power a small city. If you're visiting the Marmara area, it is possible to see the open pit mine. There is an access point with some interpretive signage and a safe viewing platform. Ask for information at the Marmara Visitor Center. It's by the park downtown. If approved, this pump storage project could be completed and operational by 2015. For more science and technology related videos and projects, visit our website, hyloroad.com.